got the goods. We have a hoodie and a hat for Dan and his family, his wife and kids. You got to show, got to show appreciation when someone allows you to hunt their land. So we are, and I don't, we didn't get a chance to introduce you guys. I should, we probably had a chance. We just didn't do it. But uh, Dan and his son Bridger were out with us yesterday. So welcome back to Semi Live Shed Tour. This is day two. If you guys missed yesterday's video, just so you know, we're out in South Dakota looking for whitetail sheds. We did find some. Um, we also found a very big problem this morning and woke up to no internet service. So in order for us to do this daily, we need to upload and cut these videos every night. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. We might be moving hotels, we'll have to see. Man, nice weather, a little breezy still, so we'll apologize for the audio. We always try to cover it. little breezy but much better down here in the river bottom so this is where we were parked yesterday if you look out this way just yesterday alone there was 71 whitetail and I can see there's a group of them still out feeding so these clearly by what they told us this was their main food source for this stretch of the river Martin and I are gonna get back into those woods and really hit the bedding areas hard first and then Dan some quads he's like you might as well just buzz the quads in the field so I'm like dude I'm so down get some easy ones maybe that are just laying out in the wide open so here we go we're getting back out of the field now and headed to the woods hoping that some of these big bucks are bedding and shedding back here so there's Martin I'm just gonna weave in and out of this timber and you would think the amount of deer and the amount of bucks that they've seen in here in the winter that there's got to be all kinds of sheds scattered through this stuff oh my gosh check out the size of the rub on this tree that's a good good sized tree that's like <laughs> that's like an elk rub quality there are a ton of rubs, a ton of deer in this area. And even if some of the deer move during shed season, there's still gotta be a few sheds in here. But as you can see, kind of, uh, kind of hard to see them if there was to be one. Guess there's just nowhere for this water to run. We're trying to get to this wooded lot to pick apart some of this stuff on foot. But the whole place is quite flooded right now. Well, I've uh, connected with Dan. So he's cruising on the quad. And uh, I'm just cruising some of this grass. Gonna get up to these trees and work through there. Now, Where are the sheds? How is this physically possible? to find zero sheds in a piece of private land that was wintering two to three hundred and up to four hundred whitetail. Someone like to leave a comment, how is that possible? Sure, there's grass, sure it's thick, I get it, but we have not stumbled on a single brown shed today. So, we're gonna meet up with Dan, game plan to see what's next, but I really don't know what to do. Check it out. We just crossed this creek. Let's go see what he is. First shed of the day. <laughs> Martin better not be playing with my emotions. He's over here hipping and hollering, so he better have something. He looks excited. He looks way excited, so he's got something. What is the deal over here? Oh okay. shoot, there it is. Looking good. Dude, that's got something's going on on the eye guards, huh? Holy crap, it stands out. I just cut like the top top oh. point. Dude, that's a big shed, drag. And it is a white tail. Holy smoke. <laughs> oh. No way, Martin. Dude. Yes. 
hard white. Holy bro. crap. That's hard white. Dang. That that's is a good one, right? Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, in yeah. my book, I know it's no giant, but in my book, we made a trip for to find something like Just that. Like a clean bug. Holy smokes, dude, that's way rad. Look at the main beam on that. I'll uh, finally broke the ice today on day two. We've hiked forever, kind of discouraged a little bit, but both of us crossed the creek and got on this flat top. First thing I saw was this G2 and uh, three sticking up. So let's pick it up. <laughs> yeah, he's rad. Yeah, he's a, a compact buck tight, but definitely a long beam. Yeah, that's beamy. Good beam, good eye guard. Just like a really clean, clean buck. Last year's last hard white, year, huh? Probably, Still yeah. lasted Ooh. out here in the wide open. Yeah. Nice work, dog, man. man. That's that's cool. That's cool. We'll try to find some browns, but I'm glad we got something of that caliber out here. Finally got something. I have a feeling it's older. It's been washed away in the mud. Aha, that's what they look like. Is that last year's? That's got to be. I decided to cross that creek and head out into this swampy mess and it paid off. After closer investigation, a little bit of uh, scrub-a-dub cleaning this up, I've assumed this is this year's shed. What got me was the muddy base, but it, it was sitting right there in the mud. But it's nice, slick, hard, like white, just because it was never brown to begin with. So, I don't know, do you still call it a brownie? Even though it's this year's, or do you just call it a fresh one? So let me check the onyx to see what it took to get that. I was about five and a half miles and two and a half hours in before I found one. So what I thought the trip I thought was gonna increase our shed to mile ratio is diminishing the shed to mile ratio. got picked up um, by Dan on the four-wheeler and we were going back to get another four-wheeler to get a new spot and on the ride I said hey hold up real quick we got a shed it's a nice one check that out Yeah, we just we were just right here in the quad and getting ready to leave to go get myself my own and I said I better look around real quick. Gosh dang it, that looks like the other side. It's a lefty. Here's my righty. A way nice buck. He's just a typical on this side. Yeah, but he's really nice. Check it out guys, there's there's my first match set for South Dakota. Awesome buck. Man, they really do. Anything smaller than that would definitely be hard to see unless you were right on it. Because this is a good sized antler and it's still hard to see. If there's one thing I'm impressed with right now, it's that I still have dry feet. So, got the crispy boots, the tall ones, and some first light gaiters. And I'll tell you what, I've been walking around this stuff all day and I've got dry feet. The guys just picked up a nice one. I'm gonna try to get over there and check it out. Maybe go grab a quad. Getting the shots. Hold those babies up. Dude, yes. Brown. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's cool. Dude. Yeah, we were driving and I was like, oh, there's one. It was laying like this. Uh-huh. 
He's like, where? I'm like, it's right there. We almost, we were gonna run right into it. We were saying probably a young buck with just good genes. Heck yeah, we're hunting him next year. We are gonna take a break, eat a snack, drool over the new additions to the collection, and uh, just kind of regroup. Maybe buzz the quads out in the fields a little bit more before we leave here, but how many miles do you think? Let's check the Onyx. Like, I know you walk five and a half at least. So I'm at six miles on the dot right now. And he only drove maybe like quarter. maybe a quarter mile. Yeah, so I'm at six miles, three antlers, and there's a good distance between all of them. I know, <laughs> it's funny, we're marking them. Um, marking them on the map. So by the end of the day, we'll give you guys a tally. And the antler to mile ratio. What? I still don't see it. Oh my gosh. Dude, what the heck, Chad? This guy's killing it. Lucky, lucky man. Another fresh one. This one's compact and boy, is that it's heavy. kinda chunky, huh? Mm-hmm. The official pickup. Look what's so funny is oh, we were we were just eating lunch over there. And now we're picking up antlers we walked by earlier. Yeah, they you have to catch them just right, like the right lighting, because all this grass just breaks them up. They blend right in. He's a blade He's, bugger. Yeah, it's bladed there. And, like, check that out. Yeah. That's cool. Like a bigger burr than at least those other ones. He's more bleached out, too, than the, yeah. the last one. He doesn't weigh much. No. Like, that one's not dense. I thought it was bigger when I first saw it. Yeah. Dan dance behind the glass, really he mowing said, it down. He says, you'd think we found a gold nugget with how excited we get when we find <laughs> yeah. this. Yeah. It pretty much is. It is, it's fun. Yeah, well, we're gonna scoop up a couple up here. I got good feelings. Martin did it again. He must have found something because he stopped and waved me down. Look at this. Uh, is that the other side? Man, it could be, uh, Dude. I don't know. We don't have it to check right now. How can that be laying here? I knew with this long grass, I probably drove by one when I uh -huh. went by the other way. Is that brown? Yeah, he's brown. Just bleached out a little. Probably an early dropper. Dang you, dude. Freaking Martin taking all the right lines. Yeah, these things, like, mega blend in. To these fields yeah they're not not much higher than i think the it's ground, the other side so. look how palmated you know remember yeah. how fat it was pick that thing up i think it's definitely got potential to be the other side yeah this is looking suspect right here like real about similar the, to the other one how about the burr i don't remember what the other burr i like. almost want to say the other one looks fatter yeah it might be a different buck they all have that same 10 point frame so far yeah it's cool but Great buck. I mean, guess we better buzz this a little better, huh? Yeah, we should groom this one. Dude, that's so cool. Yeah, that's. I wish I. My guess it. is that's the other side because it was kind of compact and kind of had some mass it. here. We're not finding a ton. Yeah. We'll see. We'll put it together. That's what I was coming Look at this to. joke. I was coming to check out the trees. <laughs> Looks like maybe a. It almost hard white. Oh, I can't be. For a while. Yeah. That's a new buck too. Unless it's man, huh? A mini five. Mini five. Dude, they got the genetics here. Yeah, all five points. Look at how his kinda looks like he kinda like would have grown out. Uh-huh. You know, white tails kinda all, a lot of white tails have this little kink right here. You'll have to study them more, you'll notice it. Hmm. They all kinda do that, a lot of them. Yeah. That's probably brownie. Yeah, it's it's a slick brown early, drop. early dropper. Definitely sun bleached, but it didn't have much color to begin with. Some of these plains whitetail just aren't dark anyways. Shoot. We have this field and that field. We were not doing the greatest on foot and then we got on the quads and well, we started finding a few more when we can just cover the cover the agriculture fields. Well the audio is probably gonna be bad because of the wind, but Eric and I are making our last pass um, before we got to get to the car and leave. He's actually leaving now. He was out of shouting distance. So I said, hey, I'm going to go back, make one last pass. Um, 
through this spot where the grass is a little thicker. But we have a little brown five point. The pickup. Definitely the smallest one of the trip for me, but I kind of like him. Cool five point. Well, we're out of time for shed hunting today. We're actually going to go to town and go to a... No! I want to see if it's the other side of yours. Oh. This has got to be a set. I oh, yeah. I, just scooped it. I scooped that guy just now. <laughs> Dude, you sucker. <laughs> but here's the... Put, put that together. Oh, yeah. That's a set. Sweet. We have well, two that settles, sets. Settles the mystery. Two yep. sets. They weren't too far apart. Just, no, just two different little, uh, little fields, field huh? Yeah. yeah, one was like alfalfa on the north side, no, on the south side, and then the other was grass. Yeah, we got two brown singles. Dude, they have the genetics out yeah, here. Exactly. I mean, they all want to be 10 points. Yeah. We're going to go meet up with Dan, his family, and some friends, and we might actually have a couple kids in town that brought their sheds that we can check out. We'll show you guys. Yeah, that's sweet. We got that's stacks of yeah. the goods. And then we got... I have no... Look at this little set. Someone hold this up. Yep. Hold them up, Mason. Tiny Tim? Yep. <laughs> He's got flyers on both sides and a ton of mass. Beautiful deer. Got killed a year after that, right? Yep. yep. Look How at that bomber. How many times even hunt for that deer? Oh. Specifically just him. Too bad he's missing that point. Wonder how long it is. Do you have trail cams of him or anything? Nope. And this big old heavy eight. He's cool. Thank goodness we just checked the computer. The internet works back at our hotel. That is good news for us because we don't have to move. But it's late. It's like 11 p.m. We were over at Dan's house hanging out with uh, Bridger, Mason, and their friends checking out their whole shed collection. Uh, they had a bunch of stuff in the back of their pickup truck we were looking at and getting us motivated for tomorrow. What's that uh, one? That's the one I found. Oh, it is? Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. It was this year's member. Just yeah. thought it was last year's. These are the ones I found. No big deal. <laughs> Dude, look at honestly, how sad is this? Here's all look at that. This, how does that be physically possible? It, we're we're on the same terrain. Oh by the way, Martin <laughs> shared his track with me on Onyx. Check this out. Red is my tracks. Blue, like baby blue is Martin's track. Tracks. And he got like nine or ten. I got one. So I don't know. Shed, shed hunting is weird, man. It's all like, about the right all lines. The exact opposite tomorrow, but hopefully we're both crushing tomorrow. Well, I just want to say good night to you guys. Thanks for watching this little semi-live episode. Um, it's late because we went to the local basketball game. It was like a high school tournament between Jones County Coyotes or Coyotes and White River Tigers, and uh, it was actually a really good game up till about halftime. And then the Tigers took the lead and they won. So they're moving on to the Sodak 16, they call it, um, state champions tournament. So anyways, it's kind of fun to be involved with some of the local stuff here. And that was a long day of shed hunting. We're going to do it all again tomorrow. Yep. So Edit the video, go to bed. Yeah. Hit it again tomorrow. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.